Here it is, my favorite fountain pen of all time. In the years now, I think uh, 2015 was probably the first year I got a fountain pen. Uh, in the years I've been collecting, this has been the best pen I've ever found. And uh, today I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you all the specifics and uh, actually how you can contact the uh, maker of this pen yourself. These are handmade ebonite pens. Um, they are sold under the Asa Pens brand. I believe they are based out of India and manufactured in India. Uh, so it's cool. Um, nobody's doing stuff like this in the US. Well, not exactly like this. And so, uh, yeah, that would be why I went to Asa Pens. So this is technically a blue and orange ebonite, although Honestly, it's kind of green and brown. <laughs> My cat is just going crazy in the background. Check out that color though. Now you can see the orange and blue. It does kind of require strong light. Um, so indoors, it's gonna look kind of brown and uh, greenish. Yeah, I hear you, Zeb. All right. <laughs> the section barrel and cap are all made of the same material. Here's the number six nib. This is the two-tone version, so you have a gold-filled lower area and silver-trimmed upper area. This does have some ink, so it's got a little bit of nib creep. And I also, this nib is not the one that came with it. This is a broad, broad architect nib, I believe, um, from Ranga? I think Ranga sells them. Links in the description for all of this. So <laughs> let's see how long it takes to get the cap on here. So we'll keep our thumb here as indexing. One and a little bit. I am pulling on this cap, trying to get it off as soon as possible. One and like a little bit of a turn um, is all it really takes to get it on and off. I will sometimes sit here and kind of spin it a little bit more than I need to. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty fast on and off. It does post nicely. I always like to line up the nib and the clip. So post nicely. It's not a heavy pen. Let me get a weight on here. Well, there we go. So we are looking at 0.854 ounces. Let's get the grams on here. 24.2 grams, which is pretty good considering that <laughs> this uh, barrel has quite a few threads, but uh, that makes it possible to eyedropper this pen as well. Right now I'm rocking a converter with some uh, diamine, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, diamine blue suede ink. Um, it is one of my favorites. I think there's a little bit, yeah, a little bit of rust on this uh, Schmidt converter, although I don't believe that that rust occurred in this pen. Um, because I don't remember if it did, I'm not going to say it did. All right, and uh, the pocket clip, pretty good. Um, I wouldn't carry this in my pocket because it's my favorite pen. Um, I did order two more, and hopefully you will see those at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, let's get some more specs on this. Uh, so I'll just cut in that information. Okay, and there you have it. My favorite thing I will say about this is the section, whatever, taper ratio this is of like going from the barrel to the flared tip is like perfect for my hand um, and it I know that it's like handmade and there's no way they're like perfectly consistent but both of the well actually the three uh, pens of this style that I've handled have felt that good in my hand hold on one second okay so the reason I knew about the Asa wizard was the Asa genius if this looks familiar, it's because it's essentially 
the same pen, only this is an eyedropper only version, and they eventually made this one for a cartridge converter. So you can see a similar style of flare right here, although this one's actually a little more subtle. This one's a little more pronounced, a little sharper. Interesting. So yeah, there will be slight variation in these pens, but uh, that's something I enjoy about it, honestly. Um, if you're just going to buy the same pen all the time, it gets a little boring. Um, they are precisely made, so you can swap caps here, which I think is a testament to the quality of the handmade nature of these pens. These are done by a professional, and uh, honestly you can tell just having them in your hand. Okay, as I said, links in the description for where to get these. And uh, the last thing we'll do here is a quick writing sample just so you can see that everything's functioning properly on here. Rolling out the classic Rhodia pad here today. So this does have ink. Let me just make sure it's working. Yeah. Okay, so let me give you a sense of this nib. See my vertical lines, see my horizontal lines. I think you can see the variation there. This is an architect nib. I haven't done these little spirals in a long time. <laughs> Sorry guys, been really into knives lately. Kind of oscillate back and forth. Um, I do not have the best writing technique in the world, which you're probably able to tell, especially you handwriting people. Um, I really like this nib for printing, so we'll do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It's a very wet feed, it keeps up really, really well. I've had no issue doodling with this. I've had no issue taking copious notes with this or writing stories by hand. I should tell you, I am an English major, so occasionally I will write some stuff just for fun. And this has been a fantastic performer. And like I said, it's like my favorite grip section of all time. So this is Asa. Wizard Fountain Pen. Ooh, I need to practice my handwriting. There you go. Quick to repost. It writes fantastically. I, I can't recommend it enough. And the MSRP, well, it's not really an MSRP, it's the price is $53 even. So you send this off to uh, Unique Services and uh, they're the ones that handle the uh, payment transactions for ASA pens. So <laughs> just to reassure everyone, because I'm sure some of you are a little wary to order things from overseas, you will get charged by Unique services. I think they're going for the word unique. It's U-N-I-K and it's going to be $53 in American currency. Okay, and uh, I should mention I'm in Colorado, so that's the price where I am. Okay, thank you fountain pen pe people <laughs> for watching. Um, I know I haven't been very diligent about posting fountain pen videos, um, but I'm going to do more in the future, I swear. I have a ton of pens that I want to show off and review and uh, show you some writing samples because uh, I'm always writing by hand. I really am. I do it at work. Uh, I did it at school for years, and uh, I like it to be a part of my normal life. All right. Well, I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike, tell me why in the comments. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Happy New Year. Catch you on the next one.